Marcel Duchamp cut his teeth with the Cubists and flirted with the anti-art of Dada, but neither of these movements was to define him. In 1915, Duchamp left war-torn Europe for New York, where the fame and notoriety of his Cubist paintings preceded him. But he'd already turned his back on painting, which he described as a retinal art, appealing to the eye rather than engaging the brain. What Duchamp developed was the revolution of his ready-mades, manufactured objects plucked from everyday life, the power of the idea replacing the hand of the artist. And Duchamp's ideas came together in one of the most ambitious works of the 20th century, the large glass, an endlessly analysed work of machine-age erotic symbolism, science, alchemy, and then some. Although he claimed to have quit the art world for competitive chess, Duchamp kept on quietly making art, even by hand. This great iconoclast and breaker of rules was not above breaking his own.